Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. This week, I'm going to show you how to make a special Malaysian rice. It's called Nasi Kunit. Nasi Kunit is a Malay word. It means turmeric rice. Nasi is rice, Kunit is turmeric. If this sounds interesting to you, stick around and continue watching until the end of the show. To make the turmeric rice, obviously we do need the rice. The rice that we need to use is glutinous rice. It looks like this. It comes in a packet. So this is the packet which I have bought uh, at the Asian supermarket. Uh, it's from Thailand. The other ingredient that we need is tamarind peel. And the tamarind peel will look like this. Tamarind peel comes in a packet which you can get at the Asian supermarket. The next ingredient that we need is turmeric powder. This gives the color to the rice. Frozen pack at the Asian supermarket, we need the pandan leaf. The pandan leaf gives a beautiful aroma to the rice and the banana leaves. The banana leaves come frozen pack as well at the Asian supermarket. So banana leaf will be used to steam the rice in the bamboo steamer. The rice is meant to be uh, creamy, sticky and rich. So we will need to use uh, coconut milk and coconut cream. I'm using the Kara brand which is an Indonesian brand. It's also one of my favorite. What I have done last night, I have actually soak the rice. You will need to soak the rice for at least four hours or soak it overnight. Now with the rice, last night I rinsed and washed the rice first until the water is clear. So once it's clear, you add enough water just to the surface of the rice and you mix in one tablespoon of turmeric powder and add the tamarind peel and add also add a little bit of salt. Now what I want to do is I'm going to rinse the rice and get rid of the tamarind peel before I steam the rice. So I just pour it and sift through. As you can see it's very very yellow and the rice is now yellow in color. And you want to rinse this through the running tap water. So that's the rice uh, before and after as you can see. Before it was almost chalk white and after soaking with the turmeric, the rice has turned yellow. Get rid of the tamarind peel as I have said. One teaspoon of white peppercorn, a quarter cup of coconut milk, I'm going to use my Chinese bamboo steamer to steam the glutinous rice over here. But before I place the rice, I need to have layers of banana leaf to sit on top of the bamboo steamer. The banana leaf, I ran it over hot tap water so the leaves is softened. Otherwise, the leaves will break. So now the leaf is softened. I can put the leaves inside the bamboo steamer. I'm gonna keep adding layers of it so the rice doesn't fall through the crack. So that's good enough for me to use to steam the rice. Next, I'm going to do is, I'm going to add the rice in there. With the rice, I'm going to add um, screw pine leaves. This is actually pandan leaves. In English, it's called screw pine leaves. Basically, fold it kind of into a knot, put it on top of the rice. This will add fragrance to the rice um, and it's really lovely to have pandan leaf. If you have tried a Malaysian rice called um, nasi lemak, nasi lemak 
fragrance of the rice comes from pandan leaves. So I'm gonna add three pandan leaves. This, as I have shown you earlier, it comes in the packet frozen. Put it on top to let it sit. With the wok, I have added water in it and heating it up so the water is boiling. Now it is starting to boil. I'm gonna put my rice to sit on top. So I'm gonna steam my rice for 15 minutes. Cover it with the lid. Okay. It's not cooked yet. It's halfway through. I'm gonna check the, uh, the water in the wok as well uh, because it probably needs to be refilled with hot water. So I'm gonna turn the flame down first. I need to remove the bamboo steamer. The water has been reduced by almost half. I need to add more water. So you need to check your water level just to make sure there's enough water to steam your rice. You need to make sure that it doesn't dry up or it's gonna ruin your pot. It may even catch fire. Okay, what I'm gonna do also is to add another quarter cup of coconut milk into the rice. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on and then I'm gonna steam this for another 15 minutes. So this is the second round of steaming the rice for another 15 minutes, which means that it has been steamed for 30 minutes now. It looks it looks cooked, okay? But I'm gonna have a quick taste of the rice and to see what it tastes like. Hmm, it is cooked. I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna add in coconut cream. I put it in the bowl here because usually coconut cream is very thick and you want to make sure that you actually give it a good stir. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt. So I'm adding probably about, maybe about half a teaspoon of salt. Give the uh, coconut cream a good mix through and a good stir. But I'm gonna remove the pandan leaf now and add it to the rice. And what I want to do is, I want to try and mix it through if I can. As you can see, the, uh, the rice is very, very sticky. Um, and that's why <laughs> glutinous rice is also known as sticky rice or waxy rice or sweet rice. It has the coconut milk and the coconut cream to give it that richness of a coconut flavor. This is exactly as how I want it. I want to put it back onto the wok and to steam it for another five minutes. So I'm gonna cover it with a lid again and place it onto the wok again. The rice is finished, it's been five minutes. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and remove the bamboo steamer and place it on my board here. And we will have a look at the rice. Last week, if you have seen, I made the rice last week as well and it goes so well with Malaysian curry, especially with the Malaysian curry with potatoes, nasi kunit or the yellow rice, turmeric rice, very traditional to a Malaysian Chinese families to celebrate the first month of the baby. It's called mua gui in my mother tongue, which is Hokkien. That's it folks, I hope you enjoy watching this week's recipe, nasi kunit or turmeric rice, a very special rice among the Malaysian Chinese families, usually cook once a year during the first month's birthday of the baby. If you do try out this recipe and if you have any questions, remember you can put your comments below and I'll come back to you. Now this rice goes very well with the other two curry recipes that I have shared with you. One is the Malaysian chicken curry with potatoes and the other one is the tomato based chicken curry. Remember to try out the recipes and if you haven't watched those two videos yet, I have a link below or above this video. Remember to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and also share with your friends and families. Until then, I'll see you next week. Happy cooking and ciao!